Yesterday was a big day. Equity peaks across the board. We're going to go over the portfolios, and then we'll go over the trades on the day, midday. Today, you see the Stock Index Portfolio 19 system. No drawdown currently as of yesterday's close, and we'll take a look at where it is on the month. Plus 15.3 on the month, and we made modifications uh, two times during March, and so those modifications have led to an April of 15.397.50. New equity peaks in the stock index portfolio 2020-19 system, the 36 system, modified it from 38 system to 36 systems. Equity peaks as well. This setup is up 21K on the month, up 135K on the year. Also modified it twice in March, and these are the results so far in April. Doing very well. Trends have smoothed out a bit. 200K portfolio. Equity peaks as well, no drawdown as of yesterday, and we are up 18.9 on the month. Here is the equity curve, the drawdown curve. You see um, modifications across the board on some of these to manage volatility and limit moves, and so we're in a solid set of strategies as we move forward. When limit moves and high volatility come back in, these are the strategies we want. 25K portfolio, outstanding performance. Equity peaks continues to um, imp t continues. Uh, 76, 75. That's a big gain on a, you know, we call it 25 to 50K portfolio because of margin changes. And so aggressive. This is very. This margin requirement 80 would require that you would all systems would take a net position at the same time. I've never seen that happen. So if half the strategy is taking that position, you're at 40K. These are also trade station margins. So other mar other brokers have lower margins. So if you went, for example, the NinjaTrader brokerage margin, your day trade margin on the E-mini S&P would be 1,000 right now. It's typically 500, but right now it's, they've upped it to 1,000, while trade station has gone 50% of the exchange margin. The exchange and overnight margins are the same, but the day trade margin, trade station is at 50% of the exchange margin. NinjaTrader broker is twice their old uh, day trade margin of $500 on the E-mini S&P. So you could copy and paste this row here and you'll see that it requires, uh, we've done this before, 50K to trade this portfolio at NinjaTrader. And that's still aggressive, um, or not aggressive, but conservative consideration that all strategies took a net position at the same time. So equity peaks in those four portfolios. The other portfolios we have uh, right now that we are currently offering some of these are old, so you could look back at the old setups that we had. So we're skipping down to the ones that are we are offering now. This is the uh, fifth portfolio setup that we offer, 100K portfolio, 2020 day trade only. Equity peaks right there, no drawdown. And on the month, it is up 79.50. All day trade strategies, we call this 100K before the margins went up. Now that the margins have gone up, you could conservatively say 100 to 120 for margin, and so it would take more than 100K typically. It's a lot of strategies. You have 35 strategies. Don't typically see this many strategies trading all at the same time. So it would be very unusual to need anywhere near that margin requirement. So um, let's take a look now at um, the liquid day trade portfolio, another portfolio that we have. Current drawdown is zero. Once again, margin requirements. They're on 38 strategies. If all strategies took a net position, and we are at 87.75 on the month, and at equity peaks, and that's the sixth portfolio that we offer. The seventh. All these others are old versions of the portfolio, or all 74 strategies. You can look at all 74 strategies. Some of these need to be updated for the newer versions. And some of these are just the older versions. And I probably will put the top seven strategies at the top of this list. Um, but the seventh and final portfolio that we recommend, you can also customize this. You can, you can go in here and put ones and zeros and customize your setup, uh, your portfolio as well. So SR Counter Chain 234, it's the only one. This is the, this is the one portfolio that did the best in March, that had the easiest time, very little drawdown. And it's still in a very small drawdown, 27, 58, 40. SR Canada's hadn't traded much in a $2,000 loss on the month. And so last month, this was a big winner. 
because you see very little drawdown and it continues to be in a very little drawdown, but it is in a little bit of a drawdown as we are in April. So all other six portfolios are at Equity Peak, SR Countertrend 234 is in a little bit of a drawdown and that is as of yesterday, April the 6th, 2020. I'll be posting this to the website. Let's take a look now at uh, the trades on the day, Cobra 3, even the S&P. Uh, it had a big winner yesterday, came back and got stopped out today. Uh, two big gap ups in a row. Yesterday it was a gap continuation. Today uh, it tried to fill that gap, hasn't. We'll see what will happen. I have a feeling that um, that will try to sell off some more into the close, but I could be wrong. We'll see what happens there. So Cobra 3 lost today, won yesterday. Not a bad proposition if your winners are 2,600 and your losers are 625. So that is how Cobra 3 works. It lets profits run to the end of the day, and then it gets out, and then uh, we take our losses at $600, which is a tight stop loss in this type of market. Might sound big, but if that sounds big to you, trade the micros. That would be $60 stop loss on one micro. So Cobra 3, you mean NASDAQ? Big, big gains yesterday, 43.70, lost today, minus 625, good proposition. I'll take the big winners and I'll take the small losers and we'll take those in sequences. So adaptive moving average up 337.50 today, changing direction several times. Long, short, long. Um, we'll see if it market goes down, if it'll reverse to the short side and get a little uh, move. Night Trader, nice gain on the day. Uh, it's had a series of winners. Let's take a look at that. Big long series of winners here recently. 82% uh, of the trades are profitable. It has a 2.16 profit factor. Here's the performance graph. You see it just has been on a streak since the March the 12th. The last time it had a losing trade was uh, March the 12th. And then it's been on a streak ever since. So up 10,000 on the year. This continues to be a top performing strategy. It's also in our 25K, 50K portfolio. And 60-minute um, breakout. We modified this for VIX less than 50. And, you know, it's had a loser here, but then it's had three winners in a row. So nice comeback on this 60-minute breakout for the e and S&P. Those are all the trades in the first workspace. Uh, second workspace, 80-20-19, minus 19.25, minus 750 on uh, 80-20-20 NQ, minus 18.75 on Tick Pulse NQ. As we see, uh, Tick Pulse NQ and 60-minute breakout NQ are two of the strategies we've removed from the stock index portfolio. We've, re we've modified some of the strategies for limit orders and volatility. We've just taken these two out. There used to be 38 strategies. Now there's 36, and this is the, these are the two we took out yesterday. They both had good days, and today they both are down. Um, Asia 4, ES long, plus 1,500 overnight, catching that overnight gap. Gets in early. Um, tick count trend in Q 2020, minus 375 on the day. It has taken one loss here and taken another trade here. Uh, this kind of pattern makes it look the market's about to move higher. So um, two big gap ups in a row, though. So it's kind of it's a lot of it's a lot of buying pressure right now. We'll see if some of that gets exhausted. Uh, Cobra Euro four minus six twenty five. Asia Gold twenty two or Gold Flash twenty twenty plus five twenty five. Uh, Asia Gold four short minus one thousand fifty. Um, Australia GX says four. Um, no trade. Oh, Cobra Gold lost minus 625. Minus 625 on Cobra Gold. All strategy X has five. No trades on the day. And so those are basically our trades on the day. Equity peaks across the board yesterday, except for SR Counter Trend portfolio. So nice trading. And looking forward to the rest of April, the rest of this week. And hopefully things will continue to prove and everyone is safe and healthy on the other side.